They got AI going in on this too. Of course. They, of they course. have a chat. They have a chat MOF. Really? Yeah. A Kinda chat metal organic framework. We are day three of Nobel Prize week. Chemistry. We just watched the live stream and the winner is metal organic frameworks, which was part of our prediction yeah. on Sunday, a branch of reticular chemistry. And so we're going to dive right into understanding what is, what are metal organic frameworks and why this is so important. What we're doing is we're making new rooms for chemistry that have custom sizes, custom doors, and they're made out of custom walls. So they've got a, they've got a cartoon, as they always do. Um, on the left there, that's the cartoon from the Nobel Committee. Yes. And on the right is the actual, one, one of the examples. These things are exceptionally useful, mainly because they got a bunch of holes, okay, okay. that you can use to do really cool things. For example, suppose you want to filter out carbon dioxide from exhaust, mm -hmm. right? This porous material can now do that. Uh, yeah. And I just wanted to see what was happening nowadays. So they, they got AI going in on this too. Of course. They, of they course. have a chat. They have a chat MOF. Really? Yeah. Kinda, a chat metal organic framework where you like, like a, chat with it and yeah. then it'll like generate, like, it's like, I want to, I want to, you know, chemical compound that does this. And then it'll like spit out like, oh, you should try these things. Chat right? MOF. Yeah. You can start making, right. you know, these, these metal organic frameworks. And on the right, that's a news article from Berkeley. Omar Yagi in his lab, he's actively using AI. Mm. And like um, one of his students, I think came up with like 15 molecules in six months. <laughs> just Again, just accelerating rating. this process, yes. right? Yes, 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 yes. It's pretty cool. This is what we talk about a lot, which is, again, a lot of generative AI conversation, et cetera, revolves around consumer use cases, understandably, because that's where most people are actually using it currently. There's not as much chat. I mean, just we've talked about this. There's, you know, generative AI for CRISPR. We have it for MOF. There's also things like AlphaFold. Uh, where LIGO. LIGO. Oh, that wasn't generative, but, but still, AI. still still AI sort of uh, assisting and accelerating the process of research and discovery. And it has like real world implications. Yeah. Um, in terms of us getting to these things quickly with fewer human capital resources, yeah. with less uh, financial capital resources. Yeah. It's also like a democratization process. Yep. Because people who maybe, you know, chemistry labs who want to do something, right, but don't have the expertise of the metal organic framework can go to this chat thing. And be like, hey, like this is the thing that I want to accomplish. Yes. Can I do it with MOFs? And the chat will be like, yeah, actually, just make this, 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 and this, and, <laughs> so and then put it in this way. It's so crazy.